so I just wanted to um, come on really quick to do a video. Um, I was led to do this on yesterday and um, then I didn't come on and do it on yesterday. And so I was like, you know what, 828 is gone. And so just never mind it. And then the Lord put it on my heart again. And I want to share this word because it may be a, an encouragement for someone else, even as it was a reminder for me, a word of encouragement and a reminder for me. So as most of you know, yesterday was August 28th, right? And um, at some point I was sitting at the computer desk and I remember, um, or not the computer desk, but I was sitting down um, in front of the computer and a thought tried to a thought tried to enter my mind you know i don't want to get into a teaching about you know thoughts and how we need to continuously cast down imaginations vain imaginations um according to second corinthians 10 and 5. but what i want to say is that whatever that thought was which i don't even remember what it is right now when it tried to enter my mind my eyes was you know staring at the computer and i looked out at the date and i saw where it said 8 28 and immediately the lord spoke to me romans 8 28 and a lot of us know that scripture right for we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the lord and are called according to his purpose and i want to remind someone and i want to encourage someone else that may not even be aware that while we know all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his, to his purpose. Do you know that it will not always be good, right? The fact that it works together for the good means that it's not all good. It means that it don't feel good. It means that it don't look good. It means that it might be bad. It might be ugly. It might be sad, right? You may be passing through a season of your life that does not look good good right it does not feel good but you must continue in the word of the lord continue in prayer continue to pray in the spirit continue to sow to the spirit continue to speak the word of god continue to read the word of god continue to decree the word of god continue to confess what it is that the lord has promised you hallelujah because it will come to pass because god's promise concerning you is that all things and all means all not some things <laughs> not maybe but all things work together for the good do you know that do you know that you know that you know that you are called according to his purpose do you love the lord hallelujah and you need to even make romans eight twenty eight a decree I know all things work together for my good because I love you, Lord, and I am the called according to your purpose. And so I want to encourage you with this. I want to leave this with you. I want you to be reminded of this daily and as often as you need to. When your mind is being bombarded with things that are not what God says, that is not what God has promised, that is not what is desirable, open up your mouth and begin to speak forth the word of God. God is not a man that shall lie, nor is he the son of man that shall repent. If he said it, he will make it good. He has already made it good because, in fact, his word says it is finished. Ha! But the 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 uh, difference, right, or the in between, the promise and the manifestation, is our faith, is our belief, is our knowing, is our applying what it is that we know, right? Because we know that the promise is sure. The promises of God are yes and amen. So. Bless the Lord, be encouraged, and say what he says, that you might see what he has for you. We walk by faith and not by sight. In Jesus' name, God bless you.